Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Lydia and I've been doing wildlife photography for the best part of seven years. I hope you can hear me okay. I am standing near the river Eura, I believe it's pronounced. Apologies if it's not. We've come here for a long weekend getaway in the Yorkshire Dales and part of that trip also involved finding a certain mammal that I've never seen in the wild before that being the red squirrel. So while researching this place, looking at places to visit, I came across a area called Snae's Home Red Squirrel Sanctuary, and it turned out to be not too far from the place we are staying at. So I was really intrigued to visit the area and to see if I could find my first ever glimpse of a red squirrel. Before traveling there, we really wanted to stop off at some of the local waterfalls, those being the Aesgar Falls and Cauldron Falls. With all the recent rain that has been falling, the waterfalls were really swollen, um, but they were absolutely amazing to see. And coming here in the autumn time was definitely the best choice. For the most part, it's been uh, pretty foggy here. We've only just seen the surrounding hills this morning. Uh, that's how thick it was, but it's an absolutely wonderful place to visit in the autumn time, even all year round, but just seeing all of the autumn colors and the leaves falling all around us, it's been simply magical to witness it all. So I think I'm just going to outline uh, what we saw on our visit to the Red Squirrel Sanctuary. All the rest is just going to be the footage because it was just an amazing experience and I don't really want to talk over it all but when we first arrived we parked up we probably didn't even walk a hundred meters and we saw our first red squirrel oh, and I was just so happy and surprisingly it came pretty close as well they were really curious about us and the people that live on the land they do provide some food for them um, but not so much as to hand feed them. They are pretty much wild animals here, but they are very used to people. But yeah, seeing one straight away, it was so close to running over our feet um, and it was just incredible. And then we got to the viewing area and we were the only people there, that being me and my husband. And we didn't even have to wait five minutes before one appeared and then another and then another. And I think we must have seen no less than five at one time. So really thriving in this area. And with that being said, I think I shall just show you all of the footage uh, that I took. It was quite tricky because this time of year, the red squirrels are uh, foraging for more food and caching it. So they were really moving about all over the place. It was hard to keep my camera on them uh, for a certain amount of time before they bounded off again. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to just show you the footage. I'm not gonna talk over it. I'll just let the videos do it's justice and I hope you enjoy as well. I shall see you at the end of the clips.
Because this was the first time seeing red squirrels, I already had a couple of images in mind that I really wanted to take. Because we were there for the whole morning, I felt I had enough time to set up, to watch where the squirrels were running from and seeing what the surroundings were like. And with it being autumn, the colors in the background were just really, really nice to work with. So when we first arrived there, I noticed that there was a platform for the squirrels to run across. It looked like an old tree trunk that was then uh, stapled to the middle part of some standing trees. And I thought it'd be really nice to get some shots of at least one squirrel running across it. And this I was very happy to achieve uh, not long after we got settled. So those were definitely one of my favorite pictures of it running across and having the autumn colors in the background. And then it was just a case of trying to get a photo of one sitting still long enough. Um, and thankfully I was able to do that quite a number of times. Like I said, they were really curious about us. In the previous clip, as you probably saw, one of the squirrels actually climbed up my lens, which I just, <laughs> I was absolutely speechless. Um, so I've had a squirrel, a red squirrel, sit on my camera, which is absolutely amazing. Um, and yeah, like I said, they were running back and forth constantly, really close to us. You know, they weren't afraid and it allowed me a really nice number of opportunities to just sit patiently and wait for a red squirrel to stop and look in my direction. And again, I've come away with some really wonderful images of a couple of these red squirrels. Yeah, simply amazing. I can finally tick off red squirrels on my photography list. That doesn't mean that I won't see them again. I would absolutely love to come back either in the Yorkshire Dales or another area close by to see them again and maybe even at a different time of year. But we'll see. Like I said, I am absolutely just thrilled to not just have seen them, but to get images that I'm really happy with, the colours, the exposures and the squirrels themselves, the main subjects, they were uh, quite compliant when they weren't running around all over the place. So with that, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, put a comment if you have any of your own experiences with red squirrels. If you aren't subscribed, I would really like it if you became subscribed. Um, you know, getting past 1,000 subscribers is mind blowing to me um, and I would love to see this community grow. So again, thank you all for watching and I shall see you all again very soon. Bye.